Every day, all over the world, tens of thousands of people of different ages and backgrounds will sustain an unexpected injury to the head. Whether that be through sports injuries, a trip or fall, or a road traffic crash, traumatic brain injury can have devastating consequences for the people affected. Bleeding into the brain, or intracranial haemorrhage, is very common following a head injury. As the volume of blood increases, it exerts pressure inside the skull. If the bleeding continues, and the pressure continues to rise, compression of the brain leads to oxygen deprivation, brain herniation and death. With an estimated 69 million cases per year, a figure that's only expected to rise, we desperately need new strategies to prevent death and disability from traumatic brain injury. This is why the CRASH-3 clinical trial results are hugely exciting. Coordinated by the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, CRASH-3 is the largest randomised control trial ever conducted into traumatic brain injury. It's been a global collaboration involving 175 hospitals across 29 countries. In total, more than 12,000 patients were randomised. CRASH-3 tested a treatment called tranexamic acid, a widely available and cheap drug that reduces bleeding by inhibiting blood clot breakdown. Previous trials showed that this treatment is successful in preventing deaths from extracranial bleeds. This led to the hypothesis that tranexamic acid might also reduce deaths by preventing intracranial haemorrhage too. CRASH-3 showed that this hypothesis was right. The results provided evidence of three things. First, tranexamic acid is safe to give. Second, early treatment with tranexamic acid reduces head injury deaths. And third, the effect of the treatment is greater the earlier it is given. Each 20-minute delay leads to a 10% reduction in treatment effectiveness. This is the first time a drug treatment has been shown to be effective in preventing deaths from traumatic brain injury. If these results are put into practice, tens of thousands of head injury deaths could be prevented worldwide each year. Find out more at crash3.lshtm.ac.uk